First of all, you were to transfer your drawing like this. This was from a Jade sketchbook. And then she transferred it to the watercolor paper. And now she is, you know, painting it with watercolors, okay? Now, the next step you're gonna do then is probably paint this one in, or at least paint parts of it in your sketchbook so you can test out the technique you wanna use to finish off your drawing. So, for example, Here's a drawing uh, that a uh, kid did, uh, Jackson Vensky, and what he did was uh, he did this painting of the, of the octopus, and then he outlined it with a Sharpie. He just liked these single lines around the whole thing, and I think it finishes it off really nice, okay? Um, here's a drawing that I started many years ago just as a sample, and uh, it's a quail. And so I'm not done with it, but what I did is I first I, I painted it with watercolors, and now I'm to the point where I can take either a Sharpie like this, and in this case, I want the lines to be a little finer, so instead of a Sharpie, I'm gonna use one of these pens uh, that I have here, these drawing pens, and you can go and start detailing it with those drawing pens. Now, the drawing pens can do way more than just outline it. You can build up values, so like here, I might use a series of lines to make this part of the quail a little bit darker, okay? So I can do that kind of a thing you know, go and make those lines darker. The other nice thing about this is I can still paint on this. So if this particular quail, you know, let's say I have to put some brown spots on here, I can still come back in with my watercolors and still paint on it. Or uh, you can see this quail, you know, he's got tons of little markings on his belly, these like little, little hatching, little feather marks. So maybe I wanna do that, you know, with a pen. So maybe I come in here and I make these little marks like this and I start drawing those with a pen. So whatever's easiest and whatever looks the best. So what I'm doing is I'm experimenting in my sketchbook before I finish my final one and trying these different techniques, okay? Um, here's one that a student did years ago and he just kind of left it behind. But I just kind of experimented. You can see I outlined the frog. In this case, I use little dots here uh, to, sh to do some of the values on the frog. Uh, on the tree, I used a pen and then I actually had a white pen, but you could come back in with a white brush, and I started adding values with that white brush as well, okay? So the whole point is I can experiment in my sketchbook before I commit my final drawing to that. So like this one here, I'm just gonna do this really quick. Let's just try, and uh, I'm gonna go in here, and I'm gonna outline this, and then perhaps to build this, this bottom feather here, or this bottom leaf, I want that to be a little darker, so I'm gonna add little lines here to create sort of some values separating this bottom leaf from the top leaf. And I particularly like this really thin pen for that. Okay, so I'm outlining that. And you might have a combination of two. You might say, you know what, I like a little darker line here, so maybe I'll outline, outline this with my Sharpie and then use my thinner pen to create those values, okay? Looks like you can't hardly see that on here. Let's see if I can see that here. Um, let's see that. Yeah, you can see those little lines that I'm creating there, okay? So, um, you know, I went in with the fatter Sharpie, then went in with these little lines. I'm not seeing it now. Why is it not focusing? Can't see it. Let's try that again. Something about the red is making the picture. There you can kind of see them now. The red was getting too, uh, too shiny for some reason. So anyhow, um, save your sketchbook and test things out in that sketchbook before you commit to your final drawing, okay? And one nice thing I love about using a pen is anytime you want, you can add more color. So if this frog, I wanna make them a little bluish, I can still add blue in here and other colors on top of them, and I can still come back in with the pen when that's dry, okay? So continue what you're doing.